In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to create a capture system with amazing captures. So before we start, uh, if you don't know what this is, this is a command handler. I'll link this video down in the description below if you don't have my command handler. If you want to check it out, just go to the description below. All right, so let me show you guys an ideal server setup for this command. So you want to go to your server and you want to have a member role. So a member role is basically the default role given to everybody, which is verified. All right, so member role. Okay, so let me just talk more about the member role right now. Okay, so if I go to my server settings and go to roles, you can actually see the member role is in here. All right, so for all of the channels, you want to make your permissions like this. So for everyone, so basically this is people who is not verified. So you want to make it to view channel equals to false. And then you want to make the member role to view channel is equals to true. And I want to do this for the voice channel as well. So let me just do that. View channel false. And then only if you are a member, you can view the channel. All right. So if I go to my alt account, okay, we can only see a single channel, which is verify. The reason is because uh, verify is only for the people who is not verified. You're going to see the channel. If But if you are verified, you won't be able to see the channel. So you can do something like this, like uh, check your DMs and solve capture. And then the member will be able to see this and they will check their DMs. All right, so let's say the bot has already approved the person. So it, the bot is going to add the member role to the person. And once I add the member role, as you can see here, the person has disappeared from the verify channel list and he, he or she will be able to access all of the other channels. All right, so let me show you guys the example of this canvas. So this is the example of the capture. As you can see, it's really, really cool. And then uh, this is the code that we need uh, in order to send this kind of images. All right, so the first time we're just going to install the package. So you can do that by doing npm install discord canvas. All right, I already installed it, so I'm not going to reinstall it again. Let me show you guys in package adjacent. As you can see here, capture canvas is in here in my dependencies. All right, so um, yeah, make sure to install this. And then once you install this, uh, we're going to create a simple command to test out. Uh, we, we're going to create a simple command to test out the capture system. So you see here, I already imported the capture from capture canvas, and I just imported message attachment from Discord.js. Right. So if you head back to the documentation, we can just actually copy the code and let's just paste it in here. Let me just remove all of the comments. So let me just delete this, this, okay. Uh, let me remove all of these commands. And we can just delete that line. All right, so basically we just need these few lines. And then since this project, I mean, since this function is asynchronous, we're just gonna change false to true. All right, perfect. So now we can have access to the image. So capture dot png okay so this is how we get access to our image and capture the text is what our text is all right perfect so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a variable called capture attachment attach none equals the new message attachment from this code and then we're gonna pass in a way capture dot png since this is a asynchronous function and then we're gonna pass in a name. I'm just gonna call this captcha.png. Perfect. And then we can just send the message by doing message on channel to send uh, files. And then we can just pass in our files like this, captcha attachment. Okay, we can also send the code if you want. So you can just do something like content uh, text or you can just say code. And then we can pass in captcha.text to see if it's working or not. All right, so let's just try running this command, exclamation mark captcha. You can see here we get our captcha and we get the correct code, which is DAF262. Perfect, so we now know that this is working and let's just create our guild member add event. So if you don't know what a guild member add event is, the event is basically triggered every time someone joins the server and that is the time that we want to send the captcha to the user. So let's quickly test our guild member add event. So, you just go to events and let's just create a new file called guild member add.js. 
Okay, so let's uh, import client like we used to. Require require dollar slash index, and we're just going to client on guild member add guild member add member, and then we can just console log the member the user attack for now to test if it's actually working. So yeah, let's just test this out right now. Go to my alt account. Let me just quickly leave the server and rejoin. And hopefully it logs out. Uh, pass in the invite link. All right, as you can see here, uh, the bot logged recontest. Perfect, so that means that this is work. But if it's not working properly, it's probably because of intents. So in order to fix that, when you go to index.js and you want to make sure that you have intents like this. All right, so new client and then intents like this. All right, so let me just quickly copy the logic that we created earlier. So this thing over here, let me just paste it in here. All right, so in our message of channel 7, we're just going to delete this. We're going to remove this. We're going to send the message to the member by doing const message. It goes to await a member. Send files. We can pass in the capture attachment. And then uh, what am I doing? Two square brackets, just one is enough. And then we can have our content. We can do something like solve the capture. All right, we also want to make the function asynchronous. So just make sure to add the async keyword in here. And then now we're going to import the things. So let me just quickly copy this and let's just paste it in here like this. Okay, so let's just save this and let's just test this out. So if I leave the server and rejoin the server, it should send me, it should ask me for a capture. So let me just do that. Copy this, paste in here. Okay, so as you can see, I already bought DM to me. Okay, solve the capture. And if you want your capture to look something like this, if you want to make your capture in an embed, you can do that as well. So let me show you guys how to do that. Uh, we can just define an embed. So const capture embed equals to new message embed. And then we can just do send description. Please complete this capture. Or we can do whatever we want. And then we're going to set a image uh, attachment and then we're gonna have our capture.png so if you don't know what I'm doing here I've already created a video for it and you can find that video in the description so that's a guide on how to send images in discord JS version 13 so that's the reason I'm creating this instead of sending content we're gonna send the embed so we can just do embeds embed uh, capture embed all right so let's just test this out once again Paste in the server invite link. It sends me a DM. Perfect. As you can see here now, it's a uh, it's in a embed. All right. Lastly, we want to create our logic in here, so we can just do message or channel. So here is where we're gonna listen for the codes and to check and to validate the codes. So we can just do message or channel dot await messages. Uh, await messages, and we're gonna have a filter. All right. So let's just create our filter function right now. So const filter. We can have the message in here, and then we want to validate the message and the code. So first, we want to check if the ID is actually valid. So we can just do that by doing if message the alter the ID is not equals to member the ID. Just gonna return, all right? And then we can just do if message the content. Oops, what am I doing? Content is equals to capture the text. So that's the text, the code. So we're matching the code with the message content. And then if it's correct, we're just going to return true. Or else, we're just going to do member.send. Oops. Member.send uh, wrong capture. Okay, so in here, we can pass in our filter function. And then we're going to add some more properties. So errors. Oh, actually, we can just add a max of one. Okay, so we only want one single message. We don't want to collect too much. And then we're going to have a time. So in here, it's going to be milliseconds. So I'm going to put 10 seconds like this. All right, you can just Google uh, milliseconds converter. 
Okay, I'm just gonna make it 10 seconds just for the sake of this tutorial. And lastly, we're gonna have errors. Errors is gonna be time. All right, so let me just do this in a more conventional way. So we can just do const response equals to await. And let me just wrap this in a try catch. So let me just do try in here, uh, catch error. Okay, perfect. So if there is a response, we're just gonna do member dot roles dot add, and we're gonna add the role ID. All right, this code will be ran whenever it returns true. So if this returns true, this code is gonna be ran. But if the person has, if the person ran out of time, this code is gonna be ran. So uh, this is no time and not verified. And then this will be ran whenever when or verify. Okay, so we're gonna add the member role. So let me quickly grab the member roles ID. Okay, server settings, roles. Let me just grab the ID. Passing the ID like this. And then we're also gonna say member.send. So that means we're just gonna let the member know that they, he or she has been verified so you can just do you have been verified all right so now if the person is not verified we can just do uh await member.send uh you have not verified and i have kicked you so you can either kick or ban it's your choice and then we can just do member.kick in here can have our reason so we, we can just do not have not answered catch up okay you can do whatever you want in here all right so let me just demo this for you guys to see if it actually works so let me just leave the server rejoin the server okay grab the invite link again okay as you see here the only channel I can see is now just verify. And if I just wait for 10 seconds, it's going to kick me from the server. So just look at this server win here. Okay, it's here. You have not verified and I have clicked you and the server is now gone. So let me just try to rejoin the server again. And now we're going to actually complete the capture. Join the server. Once again, we only see the verify channel. And if I complete the capture, so 934A bb it's gonna tell me that you have been verified and if i go to the server as you can see here i can now have access to the text channels if i send a message and check my roles you can see that i have been assigned the member role all right that should conclude today's video on the capture system if you have any questions or you want to suggest a new video feel free to join the discord server links will be in the description and if you want to watch more discord just tutorials you can click on the playlist that you can see on the screen right now other than that, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye!